guys, mate. Yeah, hey, hey, Josh. Hi. Hey. I'm well, how are you? Good. Andy, welcome Josh, back. How are you going, mate? Very well, very well. Still he's pointed up, drives it long now into the four uh, zone, looking for it, finding Gibson. What are your uh, memories of this place? Uh, probably a lot was in that cafeteria that right there. I used to get a lot of pies and sausage rolls. <laughs> I've got some really fond memories of, uh, of the Rams here, yeah, playing in a premiership, really special time. So, no, uh, very fond memories. East Bird are the premiers. I think when you're a junior, uh, getting to play a milestone game, you know, you always used to watch senior players run through banners and it was about my 50th game. I think it was about under 13s or something and my parents had been up making the banner. It was about here actually and as I ran through the race there, it uh, ripped in half, mate. I didn't get to <laughs> I crashed through it. So that was a, that was a pretty uh, special one. What about you, Andy? Definitely the weekend where we won the premiership, playing on the Friday night in the grand final at Waverley and then having the reserves and seniors, all three teams beating Vermont was pretty special. I remember and some pretty uh, some pretty strong celebrations oh, afterwards. <laughs> Great goal for East Burwood, hit by Andrew Carrazzo. That's his second. And as you said earlier, Dennis, such a dangerous player when he gets the ball. Oh, Andrew was a really skillful player. He just used to know where the ball was and he would pick up, you know, 25 possessions every game. So it was a delight to have him early in the team. Crashing through then was Carrazzo. Probably one of the most memorable performances, I think, uh, came in the biggest game of the year, obviously, was the grand final. Andy was our centreman and Andy ended up kicking five goals from the middle. I remember kicking my fifth goal in the last quarter and carrying on to all the fans, holding up five fingers. So. Uh, another one for the embarrassing moments book in my career. He was a, a bit of a lad, um, I can remember. You know, he, was, he wasn't he was shy in terms of uh, being the first year at the club. But running around with a, a big bleach blonde mop of hair was um, something I've erased from my memory until today. Gibson helping steady those nerves up towards... Gibson oh. worked him too well. Oh, he's a clever player, isn't he? Gibson, well done. Got rid of his man. Gibson gets back with a fist, as he so often does. Yeah, look, I never, never uh, stepped in the defensive 50 here at East Burwood. <laughs> at the Rams, I was, I was uh, an on-baller. He just used to sl slide forward because he didn't have the greatest motor and uh, used to try and put himself one out in the square and kick some goals. And there's a magical goal. That was brilliant by Josh Gibson. I enjoyed kicking goals in my junior career and um, unfortunately, that's just a distant memory of him. Only kicked two now in about 180 games in the AFL, so uh, I'm strictly defence now. Have you had a chance to get back to the club since you left? Yeah, look, I've uh, come down a couple of times and done some training with the juniors. Been back at uh, President's luncheons and, and Q&As, and so watched a few games just from, from the back. Just over the back of the hill there uh, where no one notices you. No beers? No beers, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> What other AFL players can you think of who uh, have come from East Bilwood? Two guys I played with at North was Joel Perry and uh, Blake Rimmer. So they both played with me here. And then we also had Brad Fisher. who ended up going to Carlton and uh, playing with Andy. And Adam White, another Adam another, White, yeah, another, 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 another yeah. great Blue Boys. And the year that I played here, uh, Alan Richardson was coaching the seniors. Mm. Uh, and, so and also a junior player as well. A junior player as well, yep. So uh, champion fellow Richo. Schultz goes to ground, had to slam it out. Too slippery, Robbie Gray knows how to do that. Before. Robbie Gray is probably our most famous AFL yeah. player currently playing. Carazzo inside 50, there in front. My trademark would have been sneaking forward for a goal as well. I've done far too little of it in my AFL career, but I look back very fondly on my ability to sneak forward and, and, uh, and pinch a couple of goals. I reckon everyone, though, had pot shots at goal in that pocket there, and... Um, We'd leave the footies. Have your shot and then jump in the back of mum and dad's car before you take <laughs> off and leave the footy there. <laughs> Spot on. You need to go forward again. And there's a siren to signal the end of the 99 grand final. East Bird have run our comfortable winners. Yeah, the under 15 granny was, uh, I think it was the first time that we you know, you got recorded and they had a commentator and um, it was probably the only time and the last time in my career that I took a hanger and um, the commentary is pretty funny over the top. Gibson! Ah, oh, rode his opponent like a train and took it down. Whoa, he got up and rode his opponent like a train. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm literally not even off the ground, so when you were young it was, the, it was the highlight. All the local kids had to show them that video. We've seen a very good exhibition of under-15 football. These blue boys celebrate in true style. This will be interesting. 
Hasn't changed much. Hasn't changed much at all. Can you remember the theme song? No way. Not like the back of my hand. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to tell you how it starts. From the jump, jump, if we do some handballs and then take a bump, bump. So give it all your best for support of light and all. Shout out is Burglar, the greatest club of all. Or might have been the greatest club. <laughs> greatest club of all, there you go. Quite, mate. Uh, no, it's something I live by. What about you, mate? <laughs> yeah, just like to say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look back to junior footy and just a really tough competition which I think set you up on you know the importance of footy and, and playing hard footy for the rest of my career and it definitely helped me on my journey this far. Josh Gibson, 